Shanti Niketan has been a place where Rabindranath Tagore achieved his dreams in reality. China Bhavan is also the real structure of one of his dreams. Tagore visited China in 1924. It was a landmark visit for cultural exchange. His objective was to establish cultural exchange and regain the vitality that was there between the two ancient civilizations. After he came back, he dreamed of building an institution where people will come from every nation and study Asian civilization as well as Indian history, civilization and literature. It fulfilled in the way that Tagore built China Bhavan in 1937 with the help of Professor Tan Yun Shan, whom he met in Singapore. সংস্কৃতি ওদের ভাষা ওদের ইতিহাস সবকিছুকে এখানে নিয়ে এসে একত্রিত করে দেখা এই আগ্রহের জায়গা থেকে রবীন্দ্রনাথ এবং প্রফেসর আবিন শাহ এরা দুজন মিলে এই চিনাবটাকে তৈরি করেন পুরোপুরি এরা দুজন আরো অনেক আছে ইন দি ইনিশিয়াল স্টেজ অফ ফাউন্ডেশন অফ চিনা ভবন বুদ্ধিজম ওয়াজ দ্য কোর সাবজেক্ট এন্ড ইট ওয়াজ মেইনলি আ রিসার্চ ডিপার্টমেন্ট ইন দি ইনিশিয়াল স্টেজ অফ দ্য ফাউন্ডেশন অফ চিনা ভবন Buddhism was the core subject here. They, here mainly it was a research department where the research scholars and teachers pursue research on Buddhism, on China's history, China's geography, China's literature. A number of famous scholars like Wei Fang Chiang, like Xu, Xu Trimo and others came here, the Chinese scholars. Later on 80s, the honors and master's course started in China Bhavan and during that time, the focus on research slightly changed into teaching. The courses that we follow normally cover Chinese language, Chinese literature, moreover also China studies. This is another important aspect is to how to uh, connect the language with the study. Now, in the studies, we have China-India relations. Tagore's visit to China is also an important part of our, his, of our syllabus, of our course. Hello, my name is Odhirub Ghosh. I am a, a graduation final year student of China Bhavan Vishwa Bharati. Since my childhood, I have studied here. Uh, after completing my high secondary, I admitted in Vishwa Bharati China Bhavan. Uh, in China Bhavan, we have a four-year graduation course. Uh, for first year, we have to study a preparatory course. After that, we have to study first year, second year and third year. Uh, previously, there were not that uh, semester system, but now we have our semester system. In preparatory, we just learn basic Chinese things, uh, chi some Chinese words, ch some Chinese expressions, how to say hello to Chinese people, how to communicate with them in basic level. After that, in our first year, we have a book called Chaoliang. Uh, in that, we have some grammar portions uh, and we have some stories uh, there. We have to answer the questions using Chinese. Uh, and there is another paper called Pao Khan. Uh, that Pao Khan, in English, what we say is newspaper translation. We have to translate newspaper from Chinese to English and English to Chinese. In 1990, there were only four to five students in China Bhavan and in 2014 the number increased to 150. To be very frank there has been a drastic increase in the number of students and originally the relationship, teacher, relationship between students and teachers was very cordial and till about two decades ago there were only say 20 to 25 students in the whole department but now there are hundreds and I don't even know them but they all meet. I don't teach from preparatory and I don't know all of them but in general I can say that the, the cordial relationship the tradition of cordial relationship still exists between the students and teachers this is a very informal relationship 
विश्व भारती चीना भवन एंड यूनान यूनिवर्सिटी चाइना साइंड अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन 2011. Moreover from 2011 a significant step has been taken forward towards the cultural and educational understanding between the two countries that is Vishwa Bharati and Yunnan University of China signed a memorandum of understanding and this is the first this kind of memorandum of understanding between a central university of india and a chinese university where uh, where this chinese language courses are, courses are, uh, are pursued now under this memorandum of understanding teachers from chinese department students from china bhavan and also from other departments of the university visit uh, visit china moreover students from china also come here for a summer camp every year besides this every year we have teachers from yunnan who are here to take part in the teaching program in china bhavan and after this mou there has been a significant progress in the chinese level of our students in china bhavan students study under a friendly environment with the teachers after coming in china bhavan we don't feel that we are coming to our school or university we just feel like our this is our second home and teachers are very helpful friendly to us and we are also uh, we also respect uh, them very much and uh, when we when they teach in the class you know and they are they are very friendly they don't feel that they are teacher and we are student so we have to uh, each and every, we have to listen to them like uh, each and everything we have to listen to them and we have to follow them not like that besides this the faculty members and students of china bhavan participate in a number of cultural programs and seminars um the thing that basically we find help from this department is that uh, apart from all the all the exercises in chinese we are also provided certain uh, certain books which are uh, which are not available easily in the market the china bhavan is enriched with a huge departmental library with a large collection of books a uh, china bhavan library is the richest library in respect of chinese books in india in 1957 the then prime minister of china chou wenlai gifted china bhavan with a number of volumes mainly comprising of chinese ancient history moreover also history of the ming and qing dynasty besides this the association for promotion of chinese language which is a world famous association called hanpan in chinese they are give they are, they also gift us books at regular intervals last year yunnan university gifted us a number of chinese books which are used for course materials and also for our scholars and students to pursue their research we can say that presently we have almost 40000 books in chinese and also books in chinese books in english on china binod bihari mukhopadhyay's wall paintings gives extra bit of artistic touch upon china bhavan in the end it is so transparent that china bhavan is carrying forward the dreams of rabindranath tagore ahead